Hey, welcome to the three o'clock. It's the fourth week of doing this. We still have no leaderboard, meaning that no one has correctly predicted six results out of six in the English football matches starting at three o'clock. Jack Mace was very, very close last weekend, predicting five, I think, out of the six. But it's six out of six that you need. No one's on the scoreboard. It's anyone's game. All right, so good luck for this weekend. I feel like we are going to have one very, very soon. Just the probability is very high now of having one. Let's start the timer. I don't think we need to say much more. Obviously, bet responsibly. Uh, betting is a mugs game, and we've shown that over the last three weeks of not predicting a six-fold accumulator right. Okay, so we're going to start that timer and talk about the three o'clock. Remember the rules on this. Only the three o'clock kickoffs allowed. Crystal Palace, Aston Villa, Everton, Nottingham Forest, Fulham, Brentford, Leicester City, Southampton. And remember that you have to have two non-home results as well. So Birmingham City, Wigan Athletic, Burnley, Blackpool, Coventry City and Huddersfield are, is postponed for some reason. I think it's the, the pitch relay, isn't it? Preston North End against Watford. Queen's Park Rangers against Rotherham United. Reading United. Reading? Reading United? What the fuck are Reading United? Reading against Middlesbrough. Sheffield United against Blackburn Rovers. Avoid that like the plague. Stoke City against Sunderland. Swansea City against Luton Town. West Brom against Hull is also at 3 p.m. Barnsley against Wickham Wanderers. Bolton Wanderers against Sheffield Wednesday. Burton Albion against Port Vale. That countdown is very, very distracting. Charlton Athletic against Cambridge United, Exeter City against Cheltenham Fleetwood Town against Derby Forest Green Rovers against Plymouth Argyle, Milton Keynes Duns against Accrington Stanley, Oxford United are at home to Morecambe. Peterborough United are at home to Lincoln City, Portsmouth against Bristol Rovers, Shrewsbury Town against Ipswich Town, Portsmouth might be a good bet. We'll have to see on the tables. Hartlepool, Bradford City, Barrow, Harrogate, Colchester United, Leighton Orient. These are all League 2 fixtures. Sorry, sorry, my bad. I have mistaken Hartlepool and Bradford City kicking off at uh, 1 p.m. instead of 3. So that is out of the question. We're excluding Hartlepool, Bradford City. So it's Barrow, Harrogate, Colchester United against Leighton Orient, Crawley Town, Wimbledon, Crow Alexandra against Northampton Town, Doncaster Rovers against Sol Salford City. Then we've got Gillingham against Walsall, Grimsby against Sutton, Mansfield at home to Stockport, Newport County at home to Tranmere, Stevenage against Carlisle, Swindon Town against Rochdale in the National League. We've got mostly three o'clock fixtures, Notts County, Chestfield kicking off later. Aldershot, Bromley, Altrincham, Yeovil Town, Barnet, Woking. Dagenham and Redbridge against Maidenhead, Dorking Wanderers against Gateshead. And then Scunthorpe United against Sully Hull Moors. Southend United against Oldham Athletic. Torquay United, Boreham Wood, Wildston, uh, Halifax Town, Rex and Maidstone. And then uh, down at the bottom here, York City against Eastleigh. If you are confused about the results, the uh, results, if you're confused about the rules of this game, then they will be down in the pinned comments, okay? There's only two rules. It's every game has to be a three o'clock kickoff. And you have to have two non-home results, okay? Just take it in. I've actually gone through this, the uh, game slower so I can digest it a bit more. Um, in the National League, Barnet atop. Chesterfield, Woking, Wilson, Maidenhead. Um, Maidenhead, it's not Maidenhead up there. Where is Maidstone in all of this? Maidstone the 15th. So, Wrexham is, a, Wrexham is a good shout, surely. Wrexham have only accumulated four points. So far, we're just under seven minutes. Okay, Salford, Leighton Orient, Northampton. Salford are doing bits at the start of the start of the season. They are away from home, up against Doncaster Rovers. You don't want to really put on that. Where where are Northampton Town? Northampton Town are against Crow Alexandra. You avoid that like the plague. Stevenage are doing really well, which is a that's a surprise to be honest. Stevenage. Are at home against Carlisle United. Not heard much of them. They're hovering around mid-table so far. But it is, of course, early in the season. It is very early in the season. And Stevenage have had their significant problems recently. And probably should have got relegated, to be honest. Um, Crawley Town AFC Wimbledon. Mm, 
All right, let's go from the, let's go from the Premier League because I'm gonna try and pick a, a result from every single league as well. I'm pretty sure we've been able to do that, um, and I can only see one short-ish fire, short kind of result there. And for me, it's Leicester City against Southampton, but it. They are a bunch of games that anything could happen against. Fulham against Brentford, don't want to bet on that. Everton, Nottingham Forest, don't want to bet on that. Crystal Palace might overturn Aston Villa, but Aston Villa might also show up. You know what I'm saying? So if we are going for a result for every league, I'm, I'm having to be forced to put Leicester City down, and that's my first decision right there. Championship... Burnley Blackpool, how bad or good, bad slash good Blackpool doing right now? Blackpool are up in 10th. You don't really want to bet against that. Uh, Queen's Park Rangers, Rotherham. I'm sure Rotherham have had a decent start to the season. They're in 11th, even though they've just got promoted, I believe. I, I'm not going to bet against Reading this time around. I'm not silly. Sheffield United, Blackburn, you avoid. Stoke City, Sunderland, don't want to really go on that. It's pre Preston North and Watford is not really something as well. I am I might have to go Burnley. Uh, may, maybe Birmingham City against Wigan. Birmingham Nah, you can't. No, Birmingham City are just terribly run. It's going to have to be Burnley. I think these, these are just writing themselves onto the notepad we can't really see an away victory there now can the away victory come from league one so where are ipswich town in all of this ipswich town are away to shrewsbury town and they are down in 16th at the moment hmm that's a possibility in fact more than a possibility i've not got time to think that's the pro with the 10 minute countdown i really haven't got time to think it's ipswich town down there let's have a look what portsmouth are doing portsmouth are near the top and where are bristol in all of that bristol rovers hasn't actually done too bad but i think i definitely think portsmouth so we got three home results one away league two looks like a, an absolute shit show to be honest uh, Gillingham and Walsall. Now then, Walsall are up. Gillingham having a terrible start. Let's go. Let's go from the bottom here. Rochdale. Rochdale haven't accumulated a point yet, and they are away against Swindon Town. Swindon Town probably better than the three points. I don't know. I don't know how well run the club is. The last time I have actually seen Swindon Town play live. Um. That was a few seasons ago. They didn't actually look like a bad side, but a lot can change in them lower leagues. That might be the that might be the way to do it. Have a look where what the bottom teams are doing. So we got Newport and Crawley. Crawley are at home against Wimbledon. Wimbledon have got themselves five points so far. Haven't they just got relegated from League One as well? So that might be a possibility. What a Newport. Newport's got Tranmere. And Tranmere, middle tech. Okay, I'm going to go Wimbledon. Go on. There's your two aways. Love that. National League. Looking at the bottom of the National League. Halifax. Yeovil Town are down there. Yikes. Maybe Altrincham, Aldershot, Halifax. Altrincham, Aldershot, Halifax. They're up against Wilson. Not really down for that. Yeovil Town. Yeovil Town are at home as our way against Altrincham. What are Dagenham and Redbridge doing at home? Okay, top then. We see Chesterfield anywhere. We've got one minute. 24 cutting this fine chestfield of the late game i do we really go for barnet but they're up against woking who are third Notts county the late game we need to find one from this lot how about sully hill moors they're also away from home 
York City. Where are Eastley? York City and Eastley both getting the four points so far. 45 seconds left. Can we find this? Maidenhead United away from home. All the top clubs are away from home. So I, I'm I'm more going towards York City and Eastley. Uh, oh, we've not put Wrexham down. We have not put Wrexham down. Wrexham, Wrexham are against Maidenhead May, or Maidstone. It's Maidstone. My apologies. My apologies. No, I feel I feel better. And this is going to absolutely bite me in the arse because I'm sure Wrexham will win. I feel better with York City as my choice. Five seconds to go. It's Leicester, Burnley, Ipswich, Portsmouth, Wimbledon and York. Of course, you can uh, bet on draws if you wish. Uh, but for me, I don't like doing draws, to be honest. Right, that's it. That is the, te the, the 10 o'clocks. Mate, if it was the 10 o'clocks, we'd be very late. That was the 3 o'clocks. Thank you ever so much. There's my six predictions. Leicester Burnley, Ipswich, Portsmouth, Portsmouth Wimbledon, York. Um, I'm sure I will do poorly, as always. Uh, hopefully, next week, we'll talk about someone on the scoreboard, which will be fantastic. The leaderboard, whatever, will be there on my left-hand side. Cool. See you next time. Bye-bye.